Hey everybody. So today I'm going to be doing a review on silver bars. The silver bars that are here, I bought these ones from JM Bullion. The opening price of silver was $18.34 an ounce, and gold was a little over twelve and a half, uh, one thousand two hundred fifty-five dollars today. Now, one of the things that I wanted to point out about these silver bars was one their impression the impression on the bar says monarch precious metals that's actually a mint or an outfit that's out of Oregon you can you can actually buy these silver bars directly from the mint um, you can buy them from JM Bullion it just so happened that when I was deciding whether to buy these or not um, Jay and Bullion actually had it for a little bit less, so it was a bit of a no-brainer to to buy them from Jay and Bullion. If you go to the to the Monarch Precious Metals uh, website, you're going to find that they have just tons of different products that are uh, hand poured bars like this, um, d uh, several different sizes. So these are the three ounce or three troy ounce bars. They have half ounce. 1 ounce, 2 ounce, these 3 ounces, 5 ounce, 10 ounce. They actually have a 25 ounce bar called a loaf, like a loaf of bread, a kilo, and then they have a 100 ounce bar. Um, so these bars here, much different from your typical machine made bars that maybe some of you may have seen. They have uh, sort of a machined uh, finish, like a mirrored finish on their bars, but these ones are hand poured. So you see all of the little uh, details and differences between, you know, like this bar and the next bar, where you see the crevices and the little cracks and these interesting contours to them. Uh, a lot of uh, character, like, for example, this one actually has this little sort of a, a valley right there. You're just not going to get that from the machine-made uh, bars. In fact, here, let me uh, show you one example. So these bars here, you can see the reflection. It has a mirrored finish. On the back, they look like this. The problem with this is that, yes, you get the metal value for it, but there is no collectability. They're all identical. They're all machine made. You just get the metal value. So these ones, on the other hand, you actually have some collectability to them because they're they're hand poured. Nobody nobody makes them anymore. I also just wanted to quickly point out the size. That these ones are about an inch and three quarters long. By just a little bit over an inch long. And uh, not sure if the thickness is all that important to point out, but there's your thickness on it. So I think that 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 sort of completes the review about what I think about these these silver bars. Uh, there's a lot to be said about yes, the metal value, but the collectability will allow for premium. Uh, a, a premium to be gotten when you when you try to resell these things at a later time once silver goes up a little more. So I would uh, highly recommend that that when you start your um, your journey into making investments into precious metals, that sure go ahead and get yourself some of these machine made bars to start stacking your your silver. Um, the, the, you know, stacking the silver that you have, but these sort of uh, products here are going to allow you for more of a, of a markup when you try to resell it on the secondary market. So uh, I think that's that's my review for today. I'm sure I said plenty of ums and other things, but I'd really like a review uh, on my review and just a little bit of feedback and uh, anything is that you might think I could uh, improve on the review. 
I think the next video I may do will be on another silver bar product that is uh, machine made but has some collectability to it as well. Appreciate the feedback. Thanks a bunch.